What if I told you you could get a fully funded scholarship in one of Middle East top research university? Today we will explore um, this scholarship, uh, this university, Khalifa University in the Middle East, uh, which is located in Abu Dhabi, which is also known as uh, the world's safest city. Okay, so um, we will explore how to apply to this scholarship, of course, and also what are the uh, scholarship available. Um, the application process, the eligibility requirement, and everything that you need to know related to this uh, university and also to this scholarship. Before we jump directly um, to the scholarship and everything, I would like to uh, walk you through about why you should consider this university. This university is uh, ranked among the world, uh, this city first, is ranked among the world's safest and most inspiring cities, known for its modern culture and also attraction and innovative spirit okay and uh, when it's come to uh, ranking and everything as you can see uh, let's go to uh, down here okay so they are internationally ranked university first university in united arab emirates and also 37th in asia and among the top 250 globally uh, this university is in especially known for their uh, research and also offering academic program designed to meet the world growing job need okay they have uh, they have they are top in uh, Stanford, Stanford University top second most influential scientist 15 faculty among the top 05 percent worldwide and also top in MENA region in the young University 2024 and many more things as well okay so Let's discover the scholarship first before we move uh, to other steps. First of all, let's say um, what are the, uh, the scholarship available and also um, how to apply for this scholarship. Okay, if this is if this is your first time uh, watching my video, I invite you to subscribe, of course, and also join uh, uh, the WhatsApp group, which is uh, available in the video description. Okay, so let's go to scholarship here. Okay, together we discover this one. Let me know from where are you watching and also what is your level of study and so on. Okay. Um, great. So let's see here. Uh, down here we have they have undergraduate scholarship, they have postgraduate scholarship. But let's go for the postgraduate scholarship, okay? Because mostly uh, many of you are also a postgraduate student. However, of course, I will also highlight maybe a lot about the, the undergraduates. Great. Let's discover uh, the postgraduate uh, scholarship that is available here. As you can see, um, they offer a diverse portfolio of merit-based scholarship designed to recognize and support outstanding academic performance, research potential, award are granted based on factors such as recipient academic record field of study and alignment with the strategic priority of the university so what is best about this scholarship like you don't need to apply separately this is really great like you don't need to apply separately once you are applying for admission once you apply for admission and you get selected for admission you will automatically be considered for a, uh, a scholarship this is really great so uh, let's see here what is covered by uh, the different uh, scholarship first of all recipients are required to maintain strong academic standing with continued eligibility subject to specific cgpa and program progress requirement depending on scholarship already benefit may include so first they have full or partial tuition fees mostly full okay covering everything related to the tuition fee monthly stipend they didn't mention it here yet but we will discover it late is about uh, 2,200 uh, for master's degree and 2,700 USD for uh, for PhD student. Okay, so we will discover that later because I will also leave the the application link under the video description to help you check it for yourself because I share the information. However, you also have the ability to check with the official website as well. Okay, so after a monthly stipend, they have textbook. Okay, related everything related to books and text and everything. Okay, they also cover accommodation, medical insurance, and visa processing support and travel assistance to and from the UAE. So, to and from the UAE, it means like here the flight ticket from your country once you are accepted and you get the visa, like from your country to Abu Dhabi, and also if you completed 
uh, when you complete your study, you will also get flight ticket from the UA to your country. Okay, it's no matter where you are. Once you get the scholarship, they will provide the flight ticket for you. Okay, and support for participants participation in conference. This is subject to fund. You know, if especially when you are when you are a research student, sometimes you will consider applying for conference. Uh, when you will submit your paper and everything, either PhD or master's degree, then for the travel and everything, the university might help you to get funding for you to be able to uh, attend those conferences. Okay. And another thing is the international research internship. This is also subject to funding. If, for example, you are doing research or everything, because this uh, most of the subject here are about STEM, so you would like to conduct some research in other countries through an internship. The university might also help you to fund that trip and everything related to uh, your accommodation and arrival, everything, okay? This is subject to funding, of course. So teaching experience and career development. You will also have uh, opportunity to, be, to provide like teaching, to get teaching experience uh, and also career development while you are studying in this university. So it's really something that you need to consider because it's not only about studying, but also you will have a teaching experience that can help you to put in practice what you've already run during your study and also career development opportunity while you are a student, okay? So um, let's go directly now how to apply for this scholarship. Always let's go to postgraduate admission, okay? So um, let's see together here how to apply. First of all, uh, um, the postgraduate uh, admission for PhD for spring 26 is now open until 15 of September. This is for PhD, but it doesn't mean that it's not also available for bachelor, uh, like for masters and other programs as well. Okay, so this is uh, this date is uh, subject to change. You can contact the university because they have their number here and also the uh, the email and frequently asked question. We can go directly late there after this. Okay. And uh, you will directly not uh, see what what is the exact deadline for the application for each program. Okay, first of all, you need to select the program you want to study. It's really very important and crucial for your uh, participation. Okay, it's really very very important. Okay, so you select the program of study, what you would like to study, and everything. Okay, and then once then you have that you have to meet the admission requirement. So every program has its re academic requirement. So you need to check it. For example, uh, for the PhD here, you need to meet a master's degree program application. App applicant, they have to complete a bachelor degree in relevant discipline with minimum GPA of 3.4, uh, 3.0 out of 4.0 or equivalent, and so on, a minimum of level of English proficiency in the form of either TOEFL, ABT Home, or internet-based test. Overall academic eyelids or uh, uh, 1550 MSAT English score, okay? A minimum of two referee recommendation provide via online form, okay? This is where you will put your, uh, the name of your referee, then they will receive an email with instruction to provide the recommendation letter for you once you submit your application. And also a uh, statement of purpose uh, from 500 to 1,000 word related to uh, your statement of purpose, motivation, this is where you will Tell them why you would like to study here, what makes you the best uh, applicant, and so on. It's really a crucial step for your application, really. Honestly, you need to make sure that you provide all information related to yourself, what you are doing right now, what you have done, what you would like to do in the future. It's really very important because they need to, be, uh, to have a clear vision of what you would like to do in the next year so that they invest in you. And after that, there will be admission interview, of course, okay? It's the same thing for doctoral program. Uh, the program, the, the requirements are almost the same. It's just the level of study that uh, differs, okay? Uh, now, related to English language, because some people also might ask related to uh, the English language. Let's see here. Subject to review and approval. The English test score may be way for an applicant who is a native English speaker from countries such as the United States uh, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, or other region where English is the primary language. So, for example, if you're already from these countries, or your country, even if not this country, is the, having English as a primary language, you will be exempted from doing the TOEFL and everything. Or another thing, even if you are not from an English-speaking country, 
However, you graduate from an English medium instruction who can provide evidence of acquiring a minimum overall academic IELTS score or TOEFL or a minimum MSET English score at the same time admission to the completed bachelor master degree program. So it's means like here, you need to uh, uh, provide proof that yes, you study in an English, uh, like you, your previous study was taught in English and you can provide your university or your school, like can provide a certificate that certifies yes, you can be able to handle classes for bachelor, uh, like for master's degree or even PhD. For example, your bachelor work was done in English or your master was done in English. So you will be able to handle classes in English. So all applicants must provide evidence of meeting the English language requirement by uploading the relevant document with the application, even if she may be eligible for an exemption. Okay. It's really clear. So a statement of purpose I have already explained. Uh, research is, uh, this is an introduction about yourself, your interest, your motivation, the reason for applying for this program, and uh, what you hope to gain during your study, your professional aspiration, and how you think this qualification will help you achieve more, and how your previous study and work experience were applicable related to the program you have chosen. All the matters you consider important and relevant to your application. It's really very important, okay? And uh, the research statement. Also, this is where you will explain about your research interest, outline uh, experience, your experience in this field, study, research, project, or publication that you've done in everything. This is really here that this is where you will really uh, convince the committee about your application, why they really invest and in, they will invest in you, okay? And uh, after that, okay, GRE. They also GRE that they require. This is the the graduate record ex examination. This is um, also a test that is conducted for graduate study, especially for masters or PhD in in certain countries. Okay. And apart from that, the required document now needed. So, certify of copy of bachelor degree, official uh, uh, school transcript showing the grade, English language. If you do the IELTS or TOEFL, or if you provide the certificate from your school, GRE uh, record, report, curriculum vitae, statement of purpose, uh, passport style photograph on a white background, copy of valid passport, international applicant who reside in the UA should also upload a clear copy of their valid UA visa, copy of family book, okay, valid UA national ID, statement of purpose, racial statement. This is for PhD only. The research statement is only for PhD. However, the statement of purpose is for everyone. Accepted applicant must submit all of their official document before they register for classes. Incomplete applicant will not be considered. Okay, so that's some of the uh, document. Okay, recognition of university. To be eligible for admission program, applicant must hold a bachelor degree or master for an accredited institution. This is only for PhD. Okay. You need also need to not is not involved in the recognition process. The UA uh, Higher Education Alfred Division is responsible for assessing applicant and issuing the recognition of the university certificate. This is after your completion of your study, not right now. Okay, so that's it. You review the scholarship program. How now to apply for the scholarship? After you review the study program and the requirement, then you review the uh, the scholarship program. Okay. Then you submit your application. To submit application, please click on the Apply Now link below and fill in all the required section. After submitting your application, you will be guided to a study page, state of space, on which you need to upload all required document as PDF or Word or scan or, or scan image file. Okay, uh, that is here uh, for this scholarship. I thought I I think I have uh, explored some of the requirement and also. The scholarship that is available when if you are interested about the uh, undergraduate um, scholarship also this is also available here as you can see you select the program is the same process what I've told you you know the application deadline review the admission requirement you do the same thing here you check everything okay and then you review the scholarship for undergraduate student that is available online admission uh, tuition fees not because you are applying for scholarship okay so that's it uh, what major are offered of, uh, at Khalifa University? This K will offer a wide range of undergraduate programs in engineering, science, technology. All programs are accredited by the UA Ministry of Education. So, 
these are the scholar, uh, these are the study program that are available in this university you can check it you can um, uh, see if you are eligible and it also meets your deadline uh, your sorry your your profile and expectation you directly apply to this scholarship tell me if this video was useful uh, and what type of scholarship video you would like me to make in the future if uh, um, you are facing any challenges, tell me what is the biggest challenge you, you face when you are applying uh, for scholarship. And I might help you. I might either make a video about it or I will also answer you because I read all the comments. Okay. I always read all comments and I also answer the comments. So if there is anything you would like to, uh, to highlight, let me know in the uh, comment section. And I invite you to subscribe so that you don't miss other scholarship opportunities that I will be sharing. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Okay, as you can see, there are 163 videos that I have made so far. This is huge. Just within one year, all these videos are about scholarship. So, uh, discover this channel if this is your first time. And uh, try to make sure that you, um, yeah, you just scroll and see the, all the opportunities available here they are uh, experience of international student all about the KNB scholarships scholarship in indonesia scholarship in like in the u.s sorry it's scholarship in indonesia and also lives that i have already made all these videos are all about scholarship okay so i just started making video about scholarship last year i hope these are really uh helping many people because i'm getting a lot of uh comment like uh like inbox pro like dm and edit everything related to the scholarship so try to make sure that you uh, subscribe to this uh, channel and also share these opportunities to other people who are looking for scholarship abroad thank you so much and uh, see you in the next video